it what if Akito has something to say about this shit? Fucking yeah, talk your fucking shit. Talk your fucking shit. Let's go, Kazuma. Hey yo, what's up, YJFM? Welcome back to our channel with finally season 2 of Fruits Basket. I'm fucking hyped since I haven't watched Fruits Basket in literally, what now, fucking almost a month. That's when I binged the last couple of episodes from the first season, I guess. Let me stop blabbering and let's jump into the video. Ah, for fuck's sake, so we are starting again with this girl, whatever the fuck her name was. Also, yeah, there will be a new opening, probably, which I will skip again for you. Because you too. Well, first things I can say after watching the goddamn episode is, I kind of regret watching it since they spoiled that the girl we saw in the hospital last time is the horse zodiacal sign. Though I think she is the last one left, so it was kind of obvious for people that knew all of the zodiacal signs. I'm guessing I'm one of the few that didn't end up memorizing each and every one of the zodiacal signs, so it kind of makes sense for them to show it. It kind of isn't a spoiler if you know which the signs are. Now that's a question which I'm curious about. The hell is up with the entire curse? Why does it even exist in the first place? Yeah, look who is talking! You're holding a fucking iron next to their goddamn faces! Look who is fucking talking about dangerous stuff. You know damn well it won't work. Okay, now, okay, now, chill the fuck out. You're going a bit overboard with this shit. Like, the fuck is this even? Huh? The fuck is this even? Buffet? Delayuki? Huh? Jesus. Didn't we see those two at the end of uh, season one? Or am I tripping? I'm pretty sure we saw them. But I didn't pay too much attention to them since all of the stuff that was happening. I'm pretty sure they pointed towards those two though for a couple of seconds and they were discussing something. Unless they are different people. Also, this guy sure does love talking. Like, Yuking hasn't said a single word for a while now. Yep, he never mentioned that shit. Which means you will be under a shit ton of pressure because of those two. Because it doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like they will be too good at their jobs. Why are you sleeping in the goddamn closet? Or is that even a closet? Yeah. They are the same goddamn breed as your brother. I can actually put this in the goddamn thumbnail since this is the perfect image for it. Regardless of all of this shit, I can actually see this guy and end up becoming friends with Yuki. Come to think of it, since even Yuki mentioned it, this guy is the same breed as his fucking brother. So if they end up becoming friends, does that mean that Yuki will eventually end up being on good terms with his brother because of this shit? That actually makes sense? Mm, I don't think he's making fun of you. Or is he? I, I don't know how to read this guy. Hope that doesn't get in the way of us getting along. Yeah, I don't think he's a bad guy at all. He's just. His personality is kind of weird. That's going a bit overboard, don't you think so? Also, it just started snowing outside, so. Happy first snow, I guess. Well, that's for me, though. It's unlocked. Um, you guys are fucking weird. Oh, he actually knows their names. 
Jesus, you're awkward. Now that's out of character for Yuki. Yeah, he will continue changing. That's how life works. Well, no shit, you are not that close to him at all. Like, have you even tried being close to him? You're just a stalker. Jesus! Character development arc for the most unexpected of all? Am I seeing things? Am I making up things? No, 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 no way. Are they really giving her character development? I thought she would be just comedic relief. Well, I'm not complaining though. If we get character development for her, that's good, I guess. Yeah, he's definitely changed. He's definitely changed, seeing how he just talks about this shit now. And she's not even that close to him. So that's even more of a proof that he's changing. Like a lot. To us it was obvious that he was changing. But to side characters like her, not that much. So, uh, weird girl, whatever the fuck your name is, will you actually try getting a bit closer with him or will you be just that goddamn stalker? Let's jump into episode 2 of season 2. Why in the fuck did you have to kick him like that? You are too damn close to her. Yeah, let's just eat. Ah, I still love the goddamn dynamic between Kyo and Utani. Yeah, it's too early to this other part. It's kind of weird, honestly. Like, I don't know if this is just a Japanese thing or they do it in other countries as well, but uh, as a whole, at least in my country, I don't think any school makes you make a career path plan. Because, yeah. When you're still in goddamn school, I don't think you still have enough experience in life. More, neither is your mindset developed enough to just choose for yourself what you want to do. It takes time for this. You did me the guy, like this. Oh! Shit. Now I'm interested. Also, by the way, if you haven't noticed, I've given up on shipping characters in this series long ago since the interactions are not your usual kind of thing. You can't just decide who is going to end up with who. So yeah, at least for me, I'm... Or maybe I just suck with relationships, I don't know. But yeah, I've given up on shipping people. So I'll just see how things pan out by the end of the series. Oh, interesting. I'm sticking by my words, it's still too early for them to decide what they want to do in life. Anyway, let's keep the opening. Oh, he invited them over. Tor actually really is easy to please, she doesn't need anything at all, honestly. Something strange. Wait, don't tell me. Yes, I was about to say, he sucks at cooking. Jesus Christ. Just order some food, I guess. Oh yeah, actually, if you have the ingredients, those two can just cook. No, no, you won't. You won't help. Yeah, someone pointed it out in the comments. Apparently, Kyo used to cook for his master and for himself back in the days, which is why he's actually a good cook. Oh, his actual father is here. Oh well, shit. 
Mm. So, you of all people should understand what. That thing. Get this bitch out of my face. Get him out of here. Get him out of the screen. Let me slap him at the very least. Or maybe Kazuma. Just fucking slap this guy. This thing is getting freedom. He's talking as if the cat is its own separate being. And Kill doesn't have any kind of fucking control over it. Like, yeah, he may have some issues, but that's because you fuckers cause them. It ain't his fucking fault. I swear to fucking God. I swear to fucking God. Yeah, this, this guy wants to confine him. He wants to put him in the fucking pitch black room. When the time comes. No, he's getting ahead of himself, yeah. What does that concern you? No, you fuckers are monsters for doing this kind of shit to them, to all of them, not only Kyo. You really had to go there, didn't you? Motherfucker, motherfucker. You're talking as if he actually killed his own mother. It was fucking suicide. Because of it. She chose this for herself. Yeah, he is changing. Yeah, you are definitely at fault here. <sighs> he did everything other than this. Like, I don't give a fuck if they pay them to look after zodiacal signs. I'm 100% sure that the money had nothing to do with this shit. Yeah. Yeah, talk your shit. Talk your shit. And what if Akito has something to say about this shit? Fucking yeah, talk your fucking shit. Talk your fucking shit. Let's go, Kazuma. Yeah, I'm for you are the unforgivable one, like. <sighs> Jeez. <sighs> fucking Kazuma, I'm so glad he protected Kill. I'm so glad he's raising him as well, like. He's the perfect family figure for him. Like the shit is just said, as long as you keep changing, I'll keep protecting you. Also, tell me this, since it's not exactly mentioned. How long has it been since the beginning of season one? Like how much time has passed? Yeah, there may actually be a reason behind it. A superstitious habit. Well, I didn't get that, but still, whatever, yeah. Explain it to me in the comments. Like, if possible, and a bit more details than just one sentence, since... I didn't get what Kyo tried to say right now. About the reasoning behind why he cut his hair. Hmm. Yeah, of course there are times like this. Of course, questions like this always arise in people's heads. At the very least, you have people to be around, if nothing else. Like good friends, you know. Since, in the worst case scenario, 
at the end of the day, you have no friend. If you have no friends, at some point of time, you will be left all alone in life. As uneasy as you can feel whenever you think about your future. Since I'm in kind of the same position as I just graduated not too long ago, tried studying in university and ended up dropping out, so I'm kind of worried about my goddamn future as well. It feels uneasy to think about it, but still, as long as you have people around you, it will all be fine. At least that's what I'm telling myself. Because otherwise I'll probably end up going crazy. Yeah. But that's a bit... No, it's getting a bit too personal now. At least I think so. So hard I'll stop talking about this and I'll try focusing more on the episode. Where in the actual fuck did you pop out of? Actually, I'm an idiot. That's his goddamn room. Of course, he, of course he will pop out of it. It's his goddamn room. You scared the living shit out of him. What do you think he's doing there? Yeah, it's best to not just think about it. Yeah, but if you start bit by bit eventually, everything will be sorted out. Basically just set a goal for the future and just Try to keep moving for, forward to it, until you reach it. Since the more you think about that goal, and the more you don't do shit to get to it, the more stressful it will be. Jesus, it's already the end of the episode. Well, I guess that's that. Let's jump into the next episode, which is episode 3, right now. So what if you are to... Wait, who are you? Is this his mom? It's someone we haven't seen before. And it's in his fucking memories, so it most likely he is his mom. What in the hell are you doing here? So will this episode revolve around those two? <laughs> I fucking love the relationship between Shigure and Aya. <laughs> yeah, at this point you should not pay that much attention to it. Oh, so Jesus Christ, the fuck did you do to it? Oh? Oh, he's interested in it? Oh shit, yeah. He is changing a lot, come to think of it, so it would actually make sense to try getting a bit closer with Aya. Okay, yeah. So yeah, this episode will most likely be focused on Aya and Yuki. Yeah, believe it or not, I'm actually curious as well, what kind of clothes does he sell? Oh my fucking lord, the hell are you wearing, Kaya? Well, I don't know about Yuki, but I actually do praise you, man, since uh, you are ruling it, you are doing whatever the fuck you enjoy, and you are making money out of it, so yeah. Oh lord, is it the uniform? Oh, so she's actually wearing it because she enjoys it. Okay, yeah, makes sense. If she enjoys it. And I don't think there is a need for a uniform for this. I don't think she is. But I'm sure they will end up making her wear at least one or two outfits today. Well, there goes Toro, I guess. And those two are left all alone. 
Okay, then let's see what kind of interaction they will have now. Also, yeah, she can read the situation perfectly fine. She knew them well. I wanted to be left with Yuki alone for a second. I don't know what kind of relationship you have with your parents though, but I don't I don't think it's uh, I don't think you are on good terms with them. Sold me for Jesus Christ. Yeah, they failed as parents. So I think it would be better to just accept Aya's offer. Though I'm guessing since he wants to change it would be better to talk with his parents and confront them about this shit. You're not really the same as them, though. Yeah, because you were afraid of what was going to happen, probably. It actually isn't too late. You can't change the past, but you can change the future. Like, you've changed as a person a lot, Aya. That's obvious. So has Yuki, so has every, each one of the others. Yeah, you kiss the same way with his garden, I guess. And honestly, it doesn't fucking matter what they say. It's his own life. Yep, his own feelings are more important. Hmm. <laughs> also, I like how he's trying to change the topic. Okay, let's see. What did she make Toro wear? I'ma be honest here, I don't really like how the cloth looks like. Like honestly, it's a bit weird to me. But they do them, I guess, as long as they enjoy it. I like how Harry doesn't give a fuck about what he's saying. That's that, I guess. Anything else at the ending? No, nothing. Absolutely zero. Well then guys, hopefully you enjoyed those three episodes cause I sure did. I'm glad I'm back with this series and no, I won't even put my headphones down since it won't take too long to finish this. But yeah, three good episodes. And the next two episodes will be done together as well since I've heard that they are connected with each other as I said in the beginning of the video, so yeah. We are getting shit ton of development from Yuki and I'm enjoying this. Like I didn't expect him to act this way towards Aya at all. But yet he did. And yeah man, what else did we saw during this? Some development from a side character I didn't expect to get any kind of development. That fangirl of Yuki. That was weird as hell, but still. I am enjoying that they are getting development. Even though they are not main characters. Mmm, what else? Fucking Kazuma, I fuck with him so goddamn much, like boy, did I enjoy him protecting Kyo from his father. We all know that Kazuma is actually his real dad at this point of time, don't we? But yeah man, I guess that's about that. Once again I have a discord, if you want to interact with me just join it, it's linked down in the description below, there are also links to my Twitch and to my Twitter. And that's about the why I'm in the reaction here and I'll see you guys in another episode of whichever series I'm doing, be it Fruits Baskets, Tense Get Mushoku or something else later down the line in the future. Bye bye.